Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to install on-premise Azure backup server step by step. So here is my scenario uh, which I am going to use in, the, uh, in this demo. So I have two virtual machines. First one is uh, Win2K16 DC01 which is my Active Directory server. I have assigned 2GB RAM to this server and my domain name is victorinfosol.com if you want to check out here it is uh, win2k16 dc01 this is basically microsoft windows server 2012 2016 data center and i have installed active directory and dns role on this server and my second server is azure backup 01 i have assigned 8 gb ram to this server and this machine has been joined to my domain uh, here you can see local server the server name machine is joined in on, in my domain vector info soul and this is basically a microsoft windows over 2012 r2 data center edition and i have assigned 8 gb ram to this server nothing is installed on this server no roles no features it's like fresh machine and i have just joined this machine in my domain so to install on uh, or on premise azure backup server we have to perform the below task the first thing is we need to create a recovery service vault on microsoft azure portal so i have logged into my azure portal with my account and i am going to create one service account so here you can see there is a many way to create a service account you can click here add and then you can type the name what you want to create here like like you want to create recovery service vault so you can type recovery service vault from here so here also you can uh, create um, I am going to show you the other way So click on more services and type here recovery uh, service vault. Basically, site recovery vault is a previous like a uh, uh, classic Azure portal support. So for now, I'm going to create a recovery service vault. So click on it, and this will give you the option recovery service vault. We don't have no service uh, recovery service vault to display. So I'm going to add one click on add button and here you can put the survey recovery service vault name so I'm going to put here ADM recovery vault and I'm I'm using my trial version uh, subscription for Azure so it's showing the same and we have option to create a uh, resource group or use existing so I have created one resource group before this which is recovery resource group so good to know and the uh, the uh, resource group is created in uh, uh, central US so it's giving the option central US here so click on create so you can see in initializing deployment and submitting deployment so it will take some time to create a, a recovery service vault so I'm going to click on all resource so just wait to uh, complete this setup so it will not take too long to, do, uh, to create a recovery service world so now you can see deployment to resource group recovery service was successful and if you go here all resource and here you can see ADM recovery vault is created and the location and trial so I'm going to click on it so there was a backup item 0 backup management server 0 and replication everything it's basically fresh recovery service vault and the second task is install .NET, uh, .NET 3.5 on Azure backup server so I'm going to come back on this Azure portal after installing the preparing this Azure server backup server for like installation so click on manage add and role features 
and now click next role and feature based I want to install feature which is um, .NET 3.5 so you can see here .NET 3.5 is installed on this server so go ahead there was no need to do this and the second thing is download and install Azure backup server software package on server so let's do it to, inst to install this we have to go to um, backup so here you can see where is your workload running so by default it's showing Azure and I'm going to select is on on premise and here you can see do you want to backup uh, what do you want to backup so here is um, many uh, many options like file and folder hyper-v virtual machine vmware virtual machine microsoft sql sharepoint exchange system state, and bare metal so i am going to select like you can see um, bare metal recovery and click ok and this will give you option to install uh, microsoft azure backup server so i am going to click on install download basically so it will uh, redirect to microsoft azure backup page and if you uh, click on download so it will give you one exe file which is microsoft azure backup installer.exe and it will give you binary files like five binary files after downloading the all the files if you run this uh, uh, this exe file it will extract the uh, operating uh, like installation and software package in one folder and I have created a ISO file from that package so I'm going to mount that package here so click on setting of the virtual machine on the setting you can see here if I go here and Microsoft others I have downloaded and uh, created Microsoft as a backup ISO file so I'm going to put uh, that on my install uh, dvd media so here you can see just give some time so it's loading so here you can see drive is mounted on dvd drive is mounted on my server so let's click on setup file And here you, you can see we have a setup. This is basically uh, Azure uh, Backup Server is basically part of a uh, uh, data, uh, data Protection Manager. So you can see the Data Protection Manager there. So here we have Microsoft Azure Backup, and I'm go I, I want to install Microsoft Azure Backup, which is basically Microsoft Azure Backup Server start installing Microsoft uh, Visual C++ so it's basically preparing the server so in between the installation you also require the uh, like uh, vault credential file to register the server with the vault uh, so I, I I want to download this as well as so click on download. This is a very small file in few KBs. So here you can see I'm going to save this file. So I have this file here and I'm going to copy this file at my server. So I have my vault credential ready on my server desktop where I am planning to install Microsoft Azure Backup. So please wait while setup is copying temporary files. So welcome to Microsoft Azure Backup Setup Wizard. Click next to and and now we need to uh, run the pre-request check and click on pre-request check. So it will check few things like dot net and other things so uh, this computer meets the software and hardware requirements click on next now it's asking for uh, to install 
to, to install a new SQL Server instance with with this setup or use existing. So I'm going to install a new setup as SQL Server instance with this server. So click on check and install. So it will check a few objects like uh, .NET Framework and few other things. So just verify all the things. So might be if something is missing on your server, it will install the uh, prerequisites uh, by itself. So just give some time to set up. So in background, it's installing few features might be which is required for uh, installing the SQL server. So here you can see the missing uh, pre-request SIS filter has been installed. Restart the computer and run the application again. So we need to restart the server as the uh, pre-request check have uh, just installed SSI SIS filter. So click cancel here and go ahead and restart the server. So after the reboot, I will continue from same screen. So restarting my server. So the server is rebooted and I'm going to log into my server and run the setup once again. Set up file. Install Microsoft Azure Backup. So click next. And if you click on check, it, it, it will check the pre requests. All the pre requests is uh, passed successfully, like software and hardware. And now we are going to install the SQL in new instance. So, checking for Active Directory, SQL Evolution. So, everything seems good here. Click on next. And now it will give you the option to Microsoft Azure backup files uh, and the path for uh, like uh, scratch location for. And database location for uh, Microsoft SQL Backup, and this calculated the space which is required in System Drive for, like, uh, for System Drive, Program Files Drive, CAS Files Drive, everything. And just go ahead and click Next, and it will asking for Microsoft uh, SQL Server password. So I'm going to put my credential here for SQL Server. So click on Next, and uh, Microsoft update optional so I'm going to use Microsoft update automatically which is recommended click next now click on install button to uh, run the installation so now you can see the software and the status of the installation Microsoft has a backup recovery service agent so it will install the Microsoft uh, a, uh, Re Azure Recovery Service Agent basically on this server. So it's checking the pre-request. On the agent installation wizard, if you have to select the like configure the proxy then provide the proxy address here either you can click on next and here you can see the installation which is required and I'm going to click on install button so it will install the 
pre request like Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 and the PowerShell. So now you can see Microsoft Azure Service Agent has been installed and completed successfully. Click next to register this server with Azure Backup uh, Vault. So click on next. And here you can see uh, it's uh, asking for a vault credential but uh, before uh, before providing the uh, vault credential you must verify your machine is connected, your server is connected with internet. So I'm connected with my internet uh, with my second uh, NIC card which is uh, connected with this server. This server so good to go click on browse and provide the uh, vault credential file. And before uh, doing this, you must have to verify uh, uh, know that uh, this uh, vault credential file is basically um, uh, uh, for use for only two days, uh, uh, like 48 hours. After two days, the uh, vault credential file will be like uh, not uh, not anymore uh, available for use. So you must generate a vault credential file, a latest one. So click on next, and here you can see the pass phase. So generate the pass phase and you have to enter the uh, uh, like path uh, where you want to save the uh, pass uh, passes file. So I want to save this on my network. So I'm going to save it on my server like win2k k 16 k 01 and under the C drive. So let's try to save this on a uh, network path. Click on next. And now you can see registering the server with Microsoft Azure Backup Server. So once the server is registered, you can verify the server here on Microsoft Azure Vault. So I will show you later on. So uh, you can see server has been res uh, registered successfully attempting to sync the status. So now you can see the Microsoft Azure Recovery Service Agent has been installed successfully and it's proceeding for further like uh, installing SQL Server 2014 on this server. So it will take some time to install the Microsoft Azure uh, SQL Server for Microsoft Azure Backup Server. So you can see here please wait a while set up install SQL Server 2014. So we have to just wait. Here you can see Microsoft Azure Backup installation has been completed successfully. Click on close button. And now you can see the installation is completed and we have a Microsoft Azure Backup and Microsoft Azure Backup uh, cell is uh, icon on desktop. So just launch Microsoft Azure Backup Server. Yes. And on Azure you can see we have one management server is there if you click on backup management server you can see we have the backup infrastructure backup management server we have one backup management server here so this is all about the backup server installation and con uh, configuration uh, on Azure portal so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query, any question related to this, please post me on my giveaway mail ID. Thanks. You once again. Bye bye.